Imagine a city where you don't need cash, your face unlocks your apartment, and a train runs right through the middle of a building. That's modern China. While the US spent years debating one train line, China built entire cities from scratch, and more skyscrapers in 10 years than the US built in a century. So how did a mostly rural country transform into a hub of futuristic cities in just 40 years? China was predominantly rural. In 1978, only 18% of Chinese citizens lived in cities. Today, over 64%. That's nearly 900 million people, almost three times the entire US population, who now call Chinese cities home. This isn't just the largest urbanization in history, it's the fastest. While American cities grew gradually over centuries, many Chinese metropolises essentially built their modern infrastructure in a single generation. So let's explore the 10 most striking examples of China's urban transformation and the innovations that make these cities stand out. City 1 Shanghai, the financial center, China's largest city and financial powerhouse. What's shocking about Shanghai is the before and after. This entire Pudong district was mostly farmland and warehouses in the early 1990s. That iconic skyline with the Oriental Pearl Tower and Shanghai Tower, all built within the last 30 years. This brings us to our first major contrast with American cities, privacy versus convenience. Shanghai sacrifices personal privacy for urban efficiency and security in ways that would face significant resistance in the U.S. City 2, Shenzhen, the tech hub. If Shanghai is China's New York, Shenzhen is its Silicon Valley on steroids. What makes Shenzhen remarkable isn't just its skyscrapers, it's its origin story. In 1980, this was a fishing village of 30,000 people. Today, it's a tech metropolis of over 17 million. Shenzhen houses the headquarters of tech giants like Huawei, Tencent, and DJI. It's also the world's electronics manufacturing capital, producing most of the smartphones, laptops, and gadgets we use daily. City 3, Beijing, the political capital. As China's capital, Beijing showcases both ancient history and cutting-edge urban planning. The city's layout itself reflects centralized power, a series of concentric ring roads surrounding the ancient imperial palace. What makes Beijing technologically impressive is its transportation network. The city has seven ring roads, 22 subway lines, and one of the world's largest airports, the new Beijing Daxing International Airport, which looks like a massive starfish from above. City 4, Chengdu, balancing tradition and innovation. Not all of China's high-tech development is happening on the coast. Chengdu in central Sichuan province, shows how inland cities are catching up while preserving more cultural heritage. Chengdu is known for two things that seem contradictory, a relaxed lifestyle centered around food and teahouse culture, and a booming high-tech economy. The city has attracted operations from nearly half of the Fortune 500 companies and is a major hub for companies like Intel and Foxconn. City 5, Guangzhou, the manufacturing powerhouse. Often overshadowed by nearby Shenzhen and Hong Kong, Guangzhou is actually one of China's most important cities, a manufacturing giant and trading hub for over 2,000 years. What makes Guangzhou stand out technologically is its port and logistics network. The fully automated Nansha port can load and unload 800,000 containers per month with minimal human intervention. Automated guided vehicles move containers around the port, which operates 24-7. City 6, Hangzhou, the e-commerce capital. Hangzhou represents another facet of Chinese urban development, the integration of natural beauty, historical significance, and cutting-edge technology. Home to the iconic West Lake and headquarters of e-commerce giant Alibaba, Hangzhou balances tradition and innovation better than perhaps any other Chinese city. What makes Hangzhou feel futuristic is its digital infrastructure, the city pioneered China's City Brain Project, an artificial intelligence system that controls traffic lights, monitors road conditions, and dispatches emergency services in real time. City 7, Chongqing, Vertical Urbanism. If you want to see what happens when dense urban development meets challenging geography, look no further than Chongqing. Built on mountains at the junction of two major rivers, this city of 32 million people has embraced vertical development in extraordinary ways. 
What makes Chongqing architecturally unique is its three-dimensional transportation network. The city has highways running through buildings, tunnels cutting through mountains, and a monorail that goes straight through an apartment building on the eighth floor. City 8, Zhongan, the planned utopia. Now let's look at China's most ambitious urban project yet, Xiong'an New Area. Announced in 2017, this is an entirely new city being built from scratch about 60 miles southwest of Beijing. When completed, it will house up to 2.5 million people and cover nearly 800 square miles. What makes Xiong'an noteworthy is that it's designed as China's model city of the future. It will feature autonomous vehicles, underground delivery systems, 5G coverage everywhere, and buildings constructed largely by robots and 3D printers. City 9, Tianjin, the Eco-City Experiment Near the major port city of Tianjin lies one of China's most interesting urban experiments, the Sino-Singapore Tianjin Eco-City. Started in 2008 as a collaboration between the Chinese and Singaporean governments, this project transformed a wasteland of salt pans and polluted water into a model for sustainable urban development. What makes the Tianjin Eco-City technologically interesting is its comprehensive approach to sustainability. All buildings meet strict energy efficiency standards. Renewable energy provides 20% of power needs. Recycled water meets non-potable demands, and an automated pneumatic waste collection system eliminates garbage trucks. City 10, Wuhan, Resilience and Recovery Our final city is Wuhan, known to many Americans primarily as the origin of the COVID-19 pandemic. But beyond that, association lies a major transportation hub and education center with over 10 million residents. What makes Wuhan technologically significant is its transportation network. The city is known as the Chicago of China because it's a crucial junction where rail lines, highways, and shipping routes converge. Finally, these achievements come with trade-offs. The same centralization that enables rapid development also limits citizen input. The focus on new construction sometimes neglects maintenance of existing structures, and the extensive surveillance systems that make Chinese cities safer also restrict personal freedoms in ways many Americans would find unacceptable.